This week on Live Life and Win. My name is Dennis Ojo, I'm 18 years old, and I live life and win by taking the time to help make other people's lives better. We begin this week with a teen who's a man among men. Two words drive this teen, volunteer and dignity. Why are they so important? Take a look. Scott, nice to see you again. Good to see you, Dennis. Come on in. Meet 18-year-old Dennis Ojo. All right, Scott, so um, I understand here we're here to work a little bit more on uh, computer, computer tutorial here. Uh, so tell me, what's giving you trouble? Well, I still have a little uh, rough time with uh, getting my resume up. I put it in, sometimes I mess it up, sometimes it comes out, but, you know, I gotta attach it somehow. This is the real deal. Dennis is helping an adult try to find work, and finding a job for a low income or sometimes homeless person isn't easy. But Dennis is different. His passion and hobbies revolve around one word. Volunteer. V-O-L-U-N-T-E-E-R. Volunteer. A volunteer is someone who works to help other people free of charge. Uh, I think that volunteerism is a major value that should be stressed more in schools and I think that something about our society that you're able to go and help other people just out of the goodness of your heart. I think that's very important. Uh, my favorite quote is by uh, Martin Luther King Jr. He said that everybody can be great because everyone can serve. You don't need a college degree to serve. You only need a heart full of love and a soul generated by grace to serve. And I think I really believe in that quote. It's that thinking that brings Dennis to Chrysalis during a break from school, a break from his very busy schedule. I'm 18 years old, I'm a freshman at Harvard University, and my major is government. My favorite thing to do on the weekends is to go play basketball. I like to read, just going to the movies, going to museums, and politics too, of course. Here he is at President Obama's second inauguration. Dennis knows how serious his work is here. While he's still a teen, the average age of the clients he helps is 42. To say he impressed his boss is an understatement. I had a sense from Dennis right from the moment he walked in, he was in the right place. He had the right mindset, very mature, professional young man, uh, clearly destined for, for big things, and we were incredibly fortunate to have him assigned it to us here. Let's jump on the internet. Yeah, sometimes it pops up different, like different cities and different states. Another word that drives Dennis is dignity. Whether it's helping someone apply for a job or just attaching a resume to an email. Those kind of things can make a huge difference and lead to someone getting a job and the dignity that comes with it. Dignity is important because it's part of being human. I have a vision for society where everybody is, has dignity. Everyone is proud of what they're doing and helping people get, uh, find a job and get that dignity. I actually started volunteering after watching a uh, speech by President John F. Kennedy. Um, he's famous for saying, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. And um, I, I really that really hit home with me. And you know, once I started volunteering, I uh, really realized the impact should be going right now. Okay, so it looks like we got in though. Okay, great. Yeah. So go ahead and click on mail. Click on this tab right here that says line cook. Okay, so yeah, see that's where I get lost sometimes. I appreciate it. Okay, well, it's good to see you too. Great to see you, so you, great to see you again. And Dennis has another satisfied customer, hopefully on his way to getting back on his feet. How does that make you feel whenever you help someone get a job? It really makes me feel rewarding. There's just so many barriers uh, for people out there that are currently uh, living in the skid row. I have people that are dealing with substance abuse, uh, having a felony on their record, and not being able to get hired again. And I can tell just by the way you're talking that you have such drive to help these people, but why do you want to help them? I want to help them because um, there have been so many people that have helped me in my life. The moment when you realize that you've helped somebody and, and you can really just see the instant transformation on um, a client's face once they've gotten a job. It's very rewarding work. What do you want to do for your career? I really want to uh, work in public interest law. After I graduate, I want to go to law school and I really want to work in the public sector and be able to represent um, individuals that, that are living in poverty and help them, and, um, help them gain access to things like health care and uh, employment. What's the first step whenever you meet a new client? What we do with them is depends on what they need. The whole Chrysalis program it re usually begins with the resume or we can start from scratch. I have um, several 
template resumes. Once we finish with the uh, resume session, they come back for a practice interview session. I pretend to be an employer of a job that they really want to get, and I ask them questions that are, um, you know, that they'll they'll most likely hear in an interview. So, what kind of jobs do you help your clients get? They apply for uh, manual labor, things like in a warehouse, uh, forklifting. Many clients come in for like security jobs and um, and uh, food preparation. Are there basic skills that people lack? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, there are uh, so many Chrysalis clients have never used a computer before, and in our current day and age, that's something that is uh, absolutely vital for finding employment. All right, Madison, so um, now we're going to do a little role play. I'm going to be asking you a few questions as if we're in a practice interview. Okay. Can you tell me, uh, how do you handle tension and stress in the workplace? Um, well, I like to take my time with things whenever I feel that way because it gets kind of overwhelming for me. And if I take my time and I go through it and I um, realize that, you know, like take it step by step, then I think you can get through it easily. Oh, that was a good answer. <laughs> that was a great answer. What would your last supervisor say are your three, three biggest strengths? Um, I'm organized and I like to be on time and I'm friendly. Oh, great. Can you tell me some of your long-term career goals? I'd just like to be successful. That's my big goal. Um, but I'd like to be somehow in the entertainment business. So um, anything, like, making a living off of that is what I consider success in my life. So. Do you like to work alone or in a team when you're at work? I like to work with a team. I think it's fun to incorporate um, different people's skills all into one group. Can you tell me something about yourself that's not mentioned on your resume? I grew up on a farm. Really? And, yeah, my family has a farm, and so that's a big part of my life that I usually don't mention right away. We've always been hard workers with that, so that's something that's not on there. I thought that was great. Um, if I were to re uh, evaluate you like I would in my clients in their practice interview, I would give you a five for great. I think that you maintained uh, wonderful eye contact, you were poised, and uh, you really had your long-term goals um, you know, set in mind. That's something that uh, employers really like to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought that what you talk talked about your life growing up on a farm, that was uh, very interesting and it's like memorable for an employer. Well, thank you. And thank you for what you're doing. You're helping so many people with this. And I mean that. For Dennis, money is not the driving force in his life. It's service. Making a hundred million dollars is not important to me because I, I, I realize that at the end of the day I could have the most money in the world and that's not what's going to make me truly happy. Um, and it, it just be um, being able to make a difference and being able to make my mother proud. That's what's important to me. Dennis says his proudest moments are when he helps his clients find jobs. Dennis's story is very inspirational. Thanks, Madison.